Welcome to the rain-soaked mountains of the Oregon Coast Range. And I, I really want to know where the road goes. Searching around online, I found an interesting looking dispersed area out in Tillamook State Forest. So I loaded up the van and Remy and I headed out there to check it out. Well, there we go. It's like I have an extension into the campsite. And this was the main motivation to come check out this area. When I was little, fly fishing was a big part of my outdoor activities. And while I'm no pro, I thought it would be nice to dust off some cobwebs. Well, that's a pretty cool looking spot. I think I will try and do some fishing down there. I haven't fished in so long. But it reminds me of the Nestucker River, which is also in the Oregon Coast Range. And we used to fish there and catch stuff. I bought about half a dozen or so flies, some wet flies to try out. And we'll see what happens, I guess. I'm not even entirely sure what, how I have this thing set up. Oh. I have this thing set up with floating line, apparently. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. It's been a long time since I've fished, but I've been fly fishing my whole life. It's basically the primary way I prefer to fish. But that doesn't mean that I have, like, a particular set of skills in it. <laughs> I know how to do it, um, but I'm not skilled in picking the right flies or whatever. I just like to do it and see what happens. Mostly because I have zero patience to cast a line out and like just sit around and wait for something to happen. Fly fishing, you're kind of doing stuff and uh, keeps me from going insane. And it's just fun to practice the rhythm of it. As it turns out, I summoned up enough skills to catch something. Well, that was a little bit of a bust, but that's okay. I got a, I got a, like three bites all in a row, kept casting the line to the same spot, and three ba -ba bam little hits, but never got them. And then the rain started coming down, and Remy was looking none too thrilled about being out there so decided to come back and hang out and you know, find something else to do oh.
You happy to be in here now? <laughs> trying to come up with ideas for TikTok videos. If you don't know, I made a TikTok. Actually, I made one like last year, but I decided to start posting somewhat regularly on it. Um, and the funny thing is, is I've, I've made three or four videos, and within two weeks, my TikTok following surpassed the following on YouTube. After two years of posting on YouTube, pretty much. And what's kind of fun about it is it gives me a, a second opportunity to use some of the footage that I, I've cut out of videos for the sake of time, but uh, I'm struggling to come up with a subject for another video. <laughs> wondering about that ticking that's the diesel heater it's a fun challenge because I have 60 seconds to try and tell whatever story I'm telling or get whatever point across so I have to really cram and be efficient with my words and so it's like an op it's an opposite challenge rather than shrinking it down for the sake of uh, not rambling I am condensing it and struggling to where I want to add more. We spent the rest of the evening cozied up into the van, listening to the rain come and go. A skillet can do anything. With dinner made, I walked the princess around till she found the perfect place to relieve herself. I was going to try and get out and do some early fishing this morning, but the rain's coming down pretty good. I'm not sure if you can hear. Really quick trip, just an overnight. I did get a tiny bit of fishing done in, which was my goal. Hey, not every camping trip is like super exciting, but it was just nice to get out and uh, find a new spot. Normally the coast range isn't quite my thing because it's too rainy and soggy and it is here, but that's all right. Thanks for hanging out with me on this relatively uneventful camping trip. Uh, I'm gonna head back home now, and uh, actually somebody's coming to look at the Subaru, so maybe I'll be selling the Subaru. Still not sure how I feel about that, but all right. See you guys on the next one. If you like to follow along with the rest of our adventures, make sure to subscribe, and to make sure you don't miss out on any other videos, click the notification bell as well.